everyone, watchOS 11 has just came out and I wanted to take a look at it on an Apple Watch Series 6 and see if it's worth installing on this you know, specific watch. The big thing to keep in mind is that watchOS updates are slightly different than watchOS updates are slightly different than iOS updates. These things aren't going to be like the craziest things ever, but there's going to be some really cool features added which I'm really happy about. Now one, we have the ability within our activity rings nowadays to actually pause our activity rings so let's say, for example, if we were going through and let's say we were like, you know, on a workout streak, we were working like every day for like 10 months. Well, let's say we randomly had to go through and like take a break for some reason. Maybe it was a health concern or whatever. We can now pause those, which are going to be really, really cool. And we have a lot more ways of customizing those, you know, goals as well, which is really cool. On top of that, there's a new vitals option, which allows us to go ahead and basically have our health data basically our overnight health data in one convenient place which is super cool so it also starts keeping track of everything too which is really cool and another awesome thing is the ability of comparing our current workouts with our you know past workouts so let's say we're doing a workout today well our apple watch will be able to tell us whether our you know current workout is better or worse than the workout we did maybe a week ago or two weeks ago up until i think like a month ago we have that type of capability which is really really cool now, as far as we know, there's no more watch faces added inside of this particular update, which is kind of, you know, sad, but it is what it is. We also have cycle tracking too, which is really cool. So if you're somebody who, you know, wants to take advantage of this particular feature, we have that type of capability now. There's a lot more widgets. So there's a few more widgets that are now added as well. So we have the ability of having the widgets show up automatically, which again is a very, very cool thing. So you can swipe up and get access to a few more widgets within this particular panel which again is another very cool thing that we have. We also have live activities that are now added inside of our particular Apple Watch as well. We had that on our iPhones and now we actually have that inside of our particular Apple Watches as well, which is another very, very cool thing. Double Tap got some improvements and now developers can actually utilize Double Tap, which isn't really available on the Apple Watch Series 6, but still a very, very cool thing. So this Apple Watch version is supported on the Apple Watch Series 6 and above. I wouldn't recommend installing this on this Apple Watch just yet, but keep in mind that in the next couple of months, this thing's going to get better and better. And I cannot wait to install this on all my Apple Watches. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.